order for a rain garden to function as intended, an appropriate soil mix must be present to support healthy plants and allow for infiltration. After you have shaped the rain garden by excavating and creating a berm, the bottom of your rain garden should measure 10 to 12 inches deep from the top of the berm. Loosen your parent soil, that is, the existing soil that is present at the bottom of your rain garden. This can be done by simply twisting your shovel into the ground or by using a garden hoe. Amending your soil is like baking a cake. Our parent soil is an important ingredient that we want to make sure to include. Ultimately, the rain garden should consist of a soil mix that comprises of approximately 50 to 60% sand, 20 to 30% compost, and 20 to 30% of the existing soil. In order to determine how much soil and compost you will need to amend, consider the existing soil. Refer to the soil portion of the Clemson Extension Virtual Rain Garden to determine if you have sandy or loamy soil. In most instances, both sand and compost will be required. Sand will help with infiltration and compost will help to create a healthy, rich soil environment where plants can grow and soil microbes are present to help break down pollutants. In some instances, a rain garden might be located in an area so sandy that hardly any sand needs to be added. This is not typical, but in this case, the key ingredient would be to add compost. On the other hand, if you live in an area with high clay soils, you may want to avoid the step of adding sand, as sand plus clay can equal clogging. For a residential rain garden, there is an element of estimation when amending your soil. Just remember, start with the parent soil, amend, and mix well in the excavated area. You want your soil to have a nice salt and pepper look, which indicates that the recommended mix of sand, compost, and parent soil are present.